Well, good afternoon, fifth graders. Welcome back. Um, I just want to go over the assignment with you and, and see if you had any trouble with it. And I'll go through some of the questions, see if you and I have the same answers. If I'm looking at the first question here, it says, my sister and I ordered a medium pizza. It was cut into six equal pieces. I ate one piece and then went back and got three more pieces to eat. So I'm going to underline some of this important information here. How much of the pizza did I eat? So when I'm looking at this fifth graders, I looked at one piece and then I ate an additional three pieces. So I'm looking at that this is going to be an addition problem. So if I want to estimate this, I know that one out of six, ooh, you know, when I'm estimating, that's very close to zero. And three out of six pieces is really close to half. So that I know when my estimate, I have about half of the pizza that I ate. So let's look at the problem. It will come up with the number sentence and find our actual answer and see, you know, if our estimate, if we're in the right ballpark for that answer. So I know I have one sixth that I ate. And then I came back and ate an additional three sixth of that pizza. And now I already have that common denominator. If I look at this from a model perspective, I ate one sixth and then those additional one, two, three sixth. So my total that I have is one, two, three, four sixth, or I know that three plus one will give me four or four sixth. So I ate four sixths of the pizza, which is a little over half, and my estimate was a half. So we're we're in the right ballpark there. If I look at the next math problem, it tells me my brother hosted a big fish fry. He made several pans of bars for dessert. But after the party, he still had seven eighths of the pan left. He sent three-eighths of the pan home with my mom. What fraction did he have left? All right. Well, if I'm estimating that, I know that seven-eighths, that's pretty close to one whole. And he sent three-eighths of the pan home with my mom. So that means he subtracted or that amount is no longer there. So three-eighths. Well, that's pretty close to a half when I'm looking at my model. So I'm going to subtract about a half in my estimate, which one whole minus a half would leave me with about half of the pan of bars there, my dessert. So I'm going to be looking for to be in the right ballpark if my answer is around a half. So to model this subtraction, I have seven eighths, or my brother, I should say, had seven eighths of the pan of bars. So I'm going to shade in that seven eighths. So we had seven eighths as a fraction. And we are subtracting the three eighths that mom took home with her. So if I look at my seven eighths, this is what I started with, or seven out of eight. And we sent home three of those equal parts or three of those eighths with mom. That's going to leave us with one, two, three, four, or four eighths. If I look at it from a number perspective here, seven minus three is four, four out of eight parts, or four eighths as we know is equivalent to one half. So I have about half of that. And that was what our estimate was. We thought we'd have about half of the pan of bars left. On the back side, we have our brother buying a family size pizza from Papa Murphy's. He made the pizza and then cut it into 12 equal slices. During dinner, we ate nine twelfths of the pizza what fraction did we have left? Huh, okay. So if I look at this 
we're starting with the whole pizza because it said he made the pizza and cut it into 12 slices. So we have 12, that's the whole pizza. And it looks like nine twelfths is pretty close to the whole pizza. So when I'm estimating that, it looks like I have no pizza left. But we know in reality that even though this is about a whole and we started with a whole, that even though this isn't a full whole, we're still going to have some pizza left over. It's just going to be a small amount that's going to be less than a half when we're estimating. So less than a half, closer to zero. So that's what our, our target is for the ballpark. So we're gonna make a model here. So we're gonna be doing some subtracting again, it looks like. And we're starting with all 12 pieces of pizza, large family size pizza, it said. And at dinner, we ate nine twelfths of that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I had 12 twelfths for my number sentence minus nine twelfths will give me three twelfths when I'm done. One, two, three. And three twelfths is closer to zero than it is to a half. So we're going to say we're in the right ballpark. And our last problem, grandma gave me five delicious pieces of her famous fudge. I ate one fifth of the fudge right away because it was so tempting. Oh, I bet it is. I wish I had some of that fudge right now. I went back later to the kitchen and ate an additional two fifths of the fudge. How much fudge have I eaten in all? So we know if I'm estimating this one out of five, that's pretty small. That's pretty close to zero. Remember we're estimating we look at zero, a half, or a whole. So I ate that, and then I came back and had an additional two-fifths. Well, two-fifths right here, and here's the halfway mark. Two-fifths is pretty close to half. So I'm going to add an additional half. So it looks like, if I'm following this, that I ate half the fudge already. So we'll set it up as a number sentence. We have one-fifth plus an additional two-fifths would give us how much fudge. Well, if I'm adding these, I have one-fifth, and then I ate one, two more fifths for a grand total of one, two, three-fifths. So I would have eaten three-fifths of the fudge. And as you can see, three-fifths is pretty close to a half. So we're right in the right ballpark for our estimates. We eat three-fifths of the fudge. Now, with some of these problems, you might have, if we go back here, the three-twelfths, you might have made an equivalent fraction and simplified this. And you might have come up with an answer of, oh, this is the same as one-fourth because one-fourth is an equivalent fraction to three-twelfths. You might have had that as a an answer as well, and there's nothing wrong with that. That would be a great answer to have there. Um, on this other side, four-sixths, you might have had an equivalent fraction of two-thirds. Two-thirds is equivalent to four-sixths, so you might have simplified that either answer in this case for our, our first time with adding and using models would be okay.